Hello friends, so from regular cooking, let's go for a shopping today to the nearby wet market near my house. It's just across the road, it's called Taman Jurong Wet Market. It's called a wet market because the floor is usually wet. After the sale, they usually clean the floor, they wash the floor, it's uh, usually wet, so it's called a wet market. So here what we get is uh, fresh fruits, vegetables and uh, seafood poultry etc so just have a look so today here I am here to purchase some fish and I have found some fresh tuna so I have asked the person to clean the fish for me to fillet the fish for me it's around like seven dollars per kg so he is uh, washing and uh, cleaning the fish I have asked him to remove the bones for me. So what I will be doing with this is I will be preparing a dish called uh, tuna beef which is a dry fry. It goes well with uh, any bread, rice etc. So here the, is the first piece of the fillet. You can see other fish like smelt fish, sea bass golden palm fret okay over to the next stall I'll just take a peep to the next stall so here due to circuit breaker uh, all uh, are com it's compulsory to wear a face mask otherwise you are not allowed into the market plus you will be fined for up to three hundred dollars so it is compulsory to wear a face mask during the circuit breaker so my fish is uh, second fish is being cleaned in the meantime I will just go take you around uh, to show other types of fish available in Singapore this is three dollar okay huh? Okay. I also bought half a kil, half a kg of uh, the kampong fish or the mackerel. It's good for making any gravy or fry. Okay, so this is a sea bass which has been cleaned. It's usually a farm fish and even golden palm fret. These are farm fish. This is a smelt fish. Good for soups and uh, gravies. I think this is red snapper. It's a type of red snapper. And this is the tuna which I had bought. And these are sea tiger prawns. So there are two varieties of prawns uh, available. One is the sea prawn and the other is the farm raised prawns. I usually uh, never buy farm raised prawns because uh, they are fed with uh, chemicals so I don't prefer to buy farm raised fish and prawns I always go for the sea variety only okay so he's on to the second tuna he's filleting it for me usually fish uh, the wet markets are uh, working from uh, Tuesday to Sundays uh, Monday is a holiday it's fully closed so Mondays uh, here the wet markets are fully closed and usually wet markets are uh, busy very busy on Saturdays and Sundays monthly once uh, monthly uh, is um, like two or three days there is a washing where all the stalls will be closed it's called spring cleaning so the wet market is uh, the floor is usually wet so you have to be very careful while walking it's sometimes slippery I prefer to go to wet market because uh, all the veggies and the fruits are very fresh and the fish are very fresh compared to supermarkets and quite cheaper also so here I had bought uh, tuna for $20 and $3 kampong fish 
So total of $23 was uh, the seafood purchase. Thank you. So this is the weekly shopping. So I had purchased some vegetables and fruits too. So this is uh, another shop. This auntie is quite friendly. I did not find any fish interesting to buy here. So usually I purchase from her. There are many varieties of fish here you can see. We have the black pomfret, mackerel, salmon, kuning fish. This kuning fish is the main yes. item for uh, nasi lamak. We have tilapia. Tilapia is a farm raised fish, mackerel, or the kampong fish. Uh, I didn't know the name, so I asked her. She said it's yellow tail. This fish I usually never buy. This is the grey mullet here. It's good for gravy and fry. Okay, these are red snappers. They didn't look much fresh to me. And salmon. Salmon also was not that fresh. And we have the prawns and the squid. Okay. Over to the fruit shops. All the shopping was done so last moment I took the video I really forgot so maybe I will be making an, another video of buying the vegetables and the fruits so here I bought some uh, watermelon banana pineapple you can see how well they have cleaned the pineapples I'll be making some pickle with this and fresh coriander fresh curry leaves and guava guava is very tasty Thai guava seedless then I have the chili where the cleaning I have shown already how I clean and store here I have bought some capsicum I was make planning to make pizza this is raw papaya you make a side dish for uh, rice or gravy for rice then this is fresh coconut I have a uh, I bought around three coconut then I have ladies finger which I'll be preparing some gravy and some side dish for rice then here I have a uh, fresh spinach I will be making dal and spinach curry for uh, rice today and here I have the red chilies or the jalapenos where I have uh, my stock of chili sauce is finished so I purchased some chilies to make chili sauce here is the bird's eye chili which gives the spiciness for the chili sauce okay then ginger ginger is an important item in my pantry mm, I usually make some home remedies for cough cold etc then I have the rice and uh, tamarind and poppard for past biryani so what I do with the fish is I separate out you can see how fresh the tuna fillet is. It was very tasty. It is uh, very quite fresh. So the fish I will pack them separately and freeze it. And the fillets I will pack them separately. According to my need I will pack them separately. So this was my one week shopping. Milk, sugar and other provisions was already in stock. So I did not have to purchase. So I'll be taking you around for another shopping to the supermarket next week. Inshallah, see you again. Take care.